Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Egypt 2023. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me, Sebastian Lopez, International Research and Business Development Director at CETEPET, and Andreas Esquadro, International Operation Coordinator um, at CETEPET as well. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you, Julian. Thank it's you. a pleasure to be here. Thank now, you so much. Sebastian, let's start with you. Um, can you tell me more about CETEPET? What your operations and what you're involved with in the energy sector? Yeah, so basically our core business is artificial lift. Uh, we do hydraulic jet pump system. Uh, we have developed our own technology. We have our own patents. And uh, CERTECPED, we have been a, a company for more than 30 years. Uh, we have developed our own quality model systems, our own management model systems. That's what helps us uh, internationalize us. And we, have, we are in the international market, um, mostly in South America. And now we're looking over to, to go over field countries, although we already had operations in Northern Africa and the Caribbean. So we have uh, been trying to achieve uh, international stations through our management models, through our quality models, through, our, through the highest standards, which is what we always try to achieve from the start of the company until this point and what we hope to achieve more in the future. Thanks a lot for giving me a really in-depth in, uh, look at Serpent Set. Um, now, Andreas, could you talk a little bit more about the innovations you're working on um, okay. that Sebastian just touched on as well? Okay, thank you so much. So be connected with the high priority necessities of our clients is the part, I mean, the key part of this business. So we have been developing a, a new generation of jet pumps in order to reduce cost for our clients, in order to optimize production with the best of our technology. So we have been spending more than 30 years so developing new technology. So we are really interested in this market because we know that we can support with uh, providing different services and products, as I told you, so with the best quality of product and service. Great, and I just want to go back to you, Sebastian. You were saying about you know international markets. Um, mm -hmm. How important is the MENA region for you, um, and where are you looking to expand? You mentioned North Africa, yeah. but um, we're obviously here in Egypt. So I'd like to hear a bit more about that. Yeah, so it's very important for us, and it's also very important for the MENA region as well. So we we believe we have a very good uh, connection in between what problems go on with the MENA region right now and what we can solve. So basically, our technology is is uh, based on solving. Uh, issues in the wells and issues in, in, in any type of uh, area that requires customized technology. So we customize our technology, we design, manufacture it at scale. So we look for the extreme custom, customer satisfaction. Uh, and the MENA region right now has, a, has an issue of depleting wells and also uh, low, low producing wells, which is where our technology stands, stands best. And also the, the MENA region right now has an issue of uh, uh, trying to reduce cost with, improve, with improving production and is what we have been trying to achieve with our R&D department for a long time and we have achieved around, uh, around uh, more than uh, 10 different types of jet pumps that, that solve 10 different types of issues. And if the client wants a, a customized solution for a specific problem, that's where we enter. So the MENA region right now has a lot of, of things that we can offer and it also can help us a lot in international exposure. So we're looking for a very symbiotic relationship and a win-win situation for the region and for us. Well, that's really good, it's fascinating. I want to probably bring you in here, Andreas, because a bit more specifically on some of those technologies or the transformational technologies that you're excited on, that you're working on. Okay, so we consider that uh, at this time, it's really important to analyze another kind of activities that we can reduce cost, as Sebastian said, so many wells are ceasing to flow naturally. So that's why it's a moment to improve the artificial lift systems types. So that's why we are here. We are trying to expand our horizon, introducing our technology based on the know-how that the company uh, has for more than 30 years, as I told you. So we are promoting uh, the best of our technology to record dynamic, static information of the reservoirs with high technology, high reputation uh, company. So that's why so we are experiencing intervention of the wells, uh, produce customized uh, different solutions depending for uh, operation and specific applications. So this is what we are doing right now. And this, Sebastian, I just want to talk about where um, you see um, the future in the sense of working in the renewable energies or the energy transition, are, are you involved in any of that areas and any partnerships you've got going? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, right now we have a partnership with the Uni University of Bologna and also the University of Edinburgh. 
and it, they're both to uh, kind of see where, where our technology can go, especially with the University of Edinburgh, we're trying to look at our technology to go into uh, a, trans a clean energy transition to a technology that can help, you know, be more sustainable uh, and, and also achieve uh, uh, any any type of renewable symbiotism in the in the future, and uh, also we in our manufacturing plant we also do EPCM projects, and, and these projects are uh, mid scale, large scale, uh, short scale, and we have seen that we can also supply to the clean energy market. So, in that in in those types, I think we can we can find a transition, we can find a good relation between what we have right now and where the world is going. So that we have also signed an agreement to become. Um, uh, uh, low emission carbon up to 250, we, uh, 2050, I'm sorry. And we also uh, uh, won an award in, in, in Ecuador where one of the third quarters is at, of, uh, that, that is called uh, Green Point. Right. So we, we are, we're very compromised with the situation, very compromised to, to lead our technology to sustainability. Even though our, techno our technology is very sustainable in some aspect, using a closed loop cycle with the, with the water itself from the reservoir. And I think uh, every, every time we're going to look forward into that, this is why we have uh, compromise ourselves to, to these agreements and to this partnership with, with, the, with the Academy and where we're looking for, to go in the future. Great. Thanks lots, Martin. It's an interesting time ahead. And uh, I'd just like to thank you for coming down the Energy Connect studio on uh, this busy day two of Egypt 2023. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much for having us. Thank this you so much. Very